Hey, those of you who are visiting for the first time, don't listen to me right now. <laughs> but those of us who are in the family of God, we don't get along. We try. We don't always get along. That's how you can tell we're related. We don't always get along. <laughs> in a marriage, do you always get along? You have to work at getting along. I think the table should be here. Lisa and I were cleaning the house this week. I think, I think the table should be here. I think it should be over here. The, honestly, the answer should be, why should I care? <laughs> but we get ourselves involved in things that don't matter most of the time. And you think about that in, in, our, in our relationships as a church. Well, you know what? I don't like, I don't like these screens here. I don't, who cares? The young people put them up. I don't care. <laughs> How come you don't have a pulpit? You used to have a pulpit. You know what? I didn't like a pulpit because I felt like I was locked behind the pulpit. I want to be out here. You say, well, I don't like it. So I didn't ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Didn't ask you. I don't like the divi I don't like the separation. I'd, I'd rather be sitting down there, to be honest with you, personally. But can't do that, I guess. I don't know. Maybe we will. But it's interesting because Paul uses this word division, and it's much more serious. We get the word schism. You ever heard that word? That's a Greek word. You know Greek. It's schism. It means it's a. There's a gap. There's a void. There's a rending of the garment or the breaking of the bone. When you have divisions among you as a church, you break the bone in the body. And think about churches all around the world that have broken bones because somebody just won't back off of an issue or they won't calm down about the color of the carpet or about this thing or that thing and they'll die on an anthill for something. When the kingdom of God is before us, the church is to be, and how beautiful it is that the brethren dwell together in unity, the church is to be an amazing powerhouse moving in the same direction. And that's a miracle. Let's agree. It's a miracle. I got to tell you, in a church this size, it is amazing because we can make an announcement about reaching some part of the world and we can make an announcement about uh, saving babies from abortion. We can make the next announcement about uh, encouraging you to run for political office and a church this size. You know how cool it is? We'll have 25 people for each item, issue. Yes, I'm signing up. And that's fantastic. But listen, each of them have a passion. And that's the body of Christ. The danger is, is when we be, become so confident, or I should say arrogant, that we begin to criticize one another's area of passion. 